evening already tonight, a big part of Florida is feeling the high wind and rain from Tropical Storm Debbie as millions living along the Gulf Coast remain on edge and on alert for its eventual landfall. Forecasters have had a hard time nailing down exactly where the storm is headed. This is the mass that can be seen from space tonight. This storm has already proved dangerous. With Debbie's winds now sustained at 60 miles per hour, a tropical storm warning is up tonight from the Mississippi-Alabama border into northwestern Florida. But taking no chances, Louisiana's governor has already declared a state of emergency. The Weather Channel's Mike Seidel is in North Reddington Beach, Florida, near Tampa tonight to bring us the very latest. Mike. Good evening, Lester. Here on these beaches, they're getting pounded. Tropical Storm Debbie, the first one in the Gulf of the season, has already claimed its first fatality. Oil rigs have been evacuated. That could affect the price you pay for gas at the pump. And this is the worst flooding here since the 1993, nearly 20 years ago. Take a look at these 8 to 10 foot waves battering these beaches, and that's probably going to be the story of the storm here along the coast. A lot of sand going out into the Gulf. Huge impact with beach erosion and inland too. As much as 7 inches of rain. So far, water rescues in clear water this afternoon. At least three reported tornadoes. One of those a killer. A tornado watch up until 8, and that will likely be extended. Take a look at the radar. A huge, just a broad swirl with Debbie. Heavy rainfalls from northern and central Florida into the Panhandle and South Georgia where they need it. And with a slow movement of Debbie northeast at 3 miles an hour for now, some of the totals could top 15 inches of rain. Boy, the track has been tough, but we're more confident now that it's not going to Texas. But look at the red zone, the cone from Louisiana to Florida. It may not make landfall for three more days, so more wind and rain pounding these areas until maybe Wednesday. And FEMA tonight, Lester, is urging all residents to heed the warnings of this dangerous storm. Next high tide here, Lester, at 5 a.m., and once again, the Gulf of Mexico is going to go right in 